Well, howdy, howdy, inscalers. This is Alan, uh, RDA Inscale. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, give me a like, and give me that thumbs up and uh, ring the bell, please. Uh, almost close to 100, 100 uh, subs, and we appreciate uh, every one of you and uh, appreciate new uh, ones subscribing. But we want to do a continuing uh of the uh, Miller uh, 4804 converter. I did a tutorial uh, on uh, this converter. I had it hooked to my uh, RailPower 1370, and I wasn't really, really wasn't happy with the, uh, uh, what the sign was. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I mean, the sign was working fine, but the, the voltage, voltages, on my uh, uh, here on my meter was uh, kind of uh, going up and down and uh, kind of like a yo-yo and I thought um, either either the converter's not quite stable or the controller's not quite stable I said there's got to be got to be and on the 1370, the 1370 was uh, on the accessory side was making some noise when the when the sign was uh, running. Of course, I called Miller Sign and I asked George at Miller. I said, "Is that is that uh, a known thing that if you got a hook to the accessory side?" And he said, "Some he said some transformers will do that. He said it'll uh, it'll make them hum pretty loudly." uh some do some don't uh and uh he said it might be that uh you know uh your particular uh controller may do it and uh he said you hook it to the uh the uh uh dc side you may not have that you might not have that issue so we um we decided to um, we decided to try the DC side, and it seemed okay, but the seemed like to me the voltages was jumping up and down, you know, really crazy like. And so I thought, okay, let's try the let's try the uh, uh, Kato. You know, I know the Kato's are really really, you know. Everything in Kato is pretty good, you know, from their engines, track's not bad, not the greatest, not like Peco, not like Atlas, but it's not bad. But their engines, their controllers, cars, not bad. So, see what happens. So, um, I, uh, I hooked it first, uh, using, uh, using first uh, my, uh, uh, kit that I've got, uh, that's right over here, using my test leads, make my test leads up, and seeing what the, uh, voltages was, and the voltage ran from, uh, uh, 0. 0.45, something like that, microvolts all the way up to 12, so, and pretty stable, I mean, it, kind of moved around just a little bit but then you'd let your hand off the you know off the uh, power knob here uh track power knob it pretty well simmered down so we hooked the sign up <clears throat> and we flipped to you and you can do it both reverse or forward put her about the 12 o'clock at the 12 o'clock <clears throat> she rounds out about uh like it shows right there, about 5.12 volts. That's exactly what that 4804 converter has to have. And uh, so we thought, okay, this will work. You know, it does okay. The sign, when the, when the power is down here, down about 4... 4.5 volts or down there the sign is not really lit that good you put her back up to about 512 
you got a really happy sign. So I thought, okay, that works. Let's try putting on the uh, Kato, uh, the Kato DC, um, the Kato DC um, uh, 12 volt box. Uh, and let me, uh, I'll tell you what that is. I know, I, I know what it is, but I, um, uh, I'll uh, look here and uh, we'll uh, let you know what it is. Uh, just so if you're looking for this part, you get the exact part. Hang on just a second. Okay, back to recording. That part is a 24, that is a 24, 829. And that's an accessory uh, part that would run your, uh, your Kato uh, uh, lighted switch, uh, like your, uh, that, uh, your track, your track light that uh, uh, glows, uh, that glows, I'll get it out of here, uh, green, amber, and red. Uh, you can use it on the on the AC or the DC uh, uh, lighted switch, and I think you can use this on a few a few other accessories as well. I'm thinking you can use it on the turnout, but I'm not sure. It's been a while since I really looked all that stuff up. <clears throat> like I say, it's you know you just kind of you just kind of tend to forget a little bit, uh, but. Uh, uh, it does it does well and this is this is the track power uh or the uh this is running that uh 4804 over there it's putting out uh uh 5.13 volts now when i switch on when i switch on the uh southern pacific uh sign here you can see her that she's nice and happy Nice and happy and bright. You can see my water tower. I've got my Southern Pacific uh, on the water tower. I've always liked it on that water tower, and it sits just above my, just above my building here, my engine shop, and sits, uh, uh, sits uh, uh, just above it. Looks pretty good. Um, it might look like it's uh, line up with it here. Uh, yeah, she's right in the center. Yeah, maybe a little, maybe a little bit to the slided to the one side, but she looks real good. She's dancing real good. Uh, that's what you want the sign to look like at uh, at uh, uh, four and a half volts. Uh, she might be getting slightly more, but she shouldn't be. The regulator, the regulator in the uh, that runs the sign. Whoops, I'm sorry. Sorry for the for the uh, hand in front of the camera. The regulator there should regulate regulate. It's getting what it needs, and then and then the sign is getting the sign is getting what it needs. And like I say, it's uh, uh, that's where that's where you want it at. Now I could hook it to the DC the DC side, and it would do the same. Um, that is more stable. Uh, when I had that hook, when I had that hook to the rail power 1370, it was jumping around quite a bit. This goes from about 5.11 volts, and like I say, the range, the range on this, and I may put my finger by this again if I do. I'm sorry. The range on the 4804 back there is supposed to be AC or DC from 5 to 17 volts max. The white leads will usually be hooked up uh, to the accessory side on your train transformer. The converter will not work with an input volts less than five, so it has to have it has to have that five volts, and that's exactly what it's putting out. It's putting out about five point eleven, and with uh, with the sign there, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to, uh, or at least that's what it shows. So, uh, and. I don't think you can get anything much better than that, and uh, it's not really dancing around. But <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to show that you could, with that uh, with that accessory on there, you can uh, uh, hook that up to the Kato, and the Kato does really well, and your voltages are not quite as jumpy. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to me and ring the bell, and we thank you for watching. Alan, R-D-A-N scale. We'll see you. Have a great Wednesday.